Hey everybody, my name is Cameron. I'm with the Greene County Library and I work on the Bookmobile. And some of you have probably seen me before. If you haven't, the Bookmobile is this giant bus that has books on it. And instead of you coming to the library, the library comes to you. And often when we come to schools to drop off books, we will also read a story. And this is one of my favorite stories. It is called Llama Destroys the World. So let's read it together. On Friday, Llama will destroy the world. I am Llama, proclaimed Llama. Monday. On Monday, Llama found cake. Piles of cake. More cake than any Llama should ever eat. Dat, said Llama. Llama ate all of the cake. This was his first mistake. Burp. It was an honest mistake. It was a delicious mistake. It was one of those mistakes that leads to more mistakes and eventually the ultimate doom of everything. Tuesday. Tuesdays were for dancing, so Llama put on his dancing pants. The pants did not fit. He was still full of cake. But he never danced without his dancing pants. They made his butt look groovy. So Llama huffed and puffed and squeezed and stuffed himself into the pants. And this was his second mistake. And then Llama danced. He jigged, he tangoed, he cha-chaed real smooth. His rhythm was perfect. His moves were precise but the pants never stood a chance. Rip. The rip was thunderous. It shook the house, the trees and the mountains. It shook the very fabric of the universe. The cosmic vibrations from the ripping pants were so mighty that a black hole tore open in space. Wednesday, on Wednesday, Llama found the black hole. Dat, said Llama. He had never seen a black hole before. He didn't know what it could be or what it could do. But Llama was a llama of science. He knew the answers were out there waiting to be discovered. See, he's got all of his little friends. They're going to go find the answers. Llama read books. He ran complex experiments. He debated with the greatest minds and thinkers he could find. He found a pig and a bunny. And then he analyzed the data and came to a well thought out conclusion. Dat, said Llama wisely. Instead of warning the world of its imminent doom, Llama decided to do something more important. He made a bologna and cheese sandwich with extra cheese. And this was his third mistake. Thursday. On Thursday, many signs of doom appeared in the sky. Flying top hats, soaring teacups, twisting, tumbling, well-dressed turtles. But Llama didn't notice. I wonder why. Because Thursdays were for painting, and Llama was busy painting his latest masterpiece. The end was near. Friday. On Friday, the world ended. The more the black hole sucked in, the bigger and stronger it grew. The animals flew, the pizzas and bicycles and houseplants flew, and Llama flew too. I am Llama! The black hole swallowed everything up, every single thing left in the world, everything left in the universe. until there was nothing. I am Llama? Saturday. On Saturday, on the other side of the black hole, everything was fine. The universe tumbled out exactly as it had been before. Even Llama. I am Llama, proclaimed Llama. The sky was blue. The sun was shining. The world was perfectly calm, like nothing had ever happened. Sunday. On Sunday, with the world back to normal, 
Lama found something wonderful. Piles of pie. More pie than any Lama should ever eat. Dat, said Lama. Lama ate all of the cake. The end. Thank you so much for listening, guys. I hope to see you very, very soon on the Bookmobile. Hopefully we can get back soon. We miss you. Bye.